According to Environment Canada's 2012 National Greenhouse Gas Emissions Figures, for every person in Canada, transportation was responsible for the equivalent of 4.7 tons of carbon dioxide, and electricity usage was responsible for 2.5 tons. When you add these together, this is 7.2 tons of carbon dioxide for the year, which works out to be almost 20 kilograms per capita per day. So when we look at these per capita values, we must start thinking about what are our personal energy and transportation needs? What is it that we contribute to national and global emissions? What is a day in the life of our carbon footprint? So that was a day in the life of just one person's carbon footprint. But what happens when we consider this in terms of the energy and transportation needs of communities, societies, and 35.5 million Canadians? And then furthermore, the energy and transportation needs of almost 7 billion people across the globe. At what point does day after day of this collective carbon footprint reach its limit? And what happens when we surpass that limit?